Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, learningdslrvideo.com, and I'm gonna tell you about my six things I check before I hit the record button. These are the six things I check when I'm running and gunning. Um, when I, it's not a planned shoot like this one. So the first thing I wanna check is the resolution and the frame rate. I usually go between 1080 um, at 24 frames a second, like I am now, or 720 at 60 frames a second. Usually, like if I'm shooting my kids, I like to slow them down and post, so I'm gonna shoot at 720. In fact, I'd say 80% of the time that I shoot is probably in 720. And then in situations like this, where I'm just a moving head and it doesn't really matter so much in terms of movement, I'm gonna shoot at 24 frames a second. Automatic white balance is the second thing I check. Um, I make sure basically that it's on, because if I'm running a gun and there's no way I'm gonna do a custom white balance, or if I have a few extra seconds, and I know it's gonna be all bright sunny shots, then I'll try going to sunny or shade or whatever I'm in to make sure that it looks better than what the camera's already deciding to do. Because again, the image is baked in to the, it's like a JPEG. It's not like you're shooting raw and you can change it later. When you're shooting a movie, it's very similar to JPEG and it's all baked in to the file. The next thing is ISO. If I'm shooting outdoors, it's gonna be typically around 100, maybe 200. Right now, actually, I'm shooting at 200 indoors, but it's gonna be, I usually set it and I, and I leave it locked in to a manual setting and I don't let the camera try to take over automatically. Next thing is picture style. I typically leave it on standard, especially if I'm running the gun. Um, if I, again, if I have a few extra seconds and I'm doing kind of a um, landscape type of video, I might put it to the landscape one to get some more vibrant colors. The next thing is shutter speed. And this thing I always, always have to check because it's really easy to bump the jog wheel and change the shutter speed when you're in the movie mode. So again, if I'm shooting at 720 and 60 frames a second, I'm gonna double that and I'm gonna shoot at 125th of a second shutter speed. If I'm like what I'm doing here, I'm filming at 24 frames a second. So I'm gonna double that and it's gonna be 50th of a second for a shutter speed. Then the last thing I do is I focus. And I usually use the quick focus most of the time. And there's all these different points that are around the camera. And I usually either go with the center one or the top one. And then I lock in on the person's eyes if that's who I'm shooting. And then I start, finally, hit the record button. Now, if you've got some extra time on your hands and it's a planned shoot like this, I'm gonna do some additional things. The first thing is automatic white balance. I'm not gonna use that, I'm gonna use custom white balance. Right now, there's two different ways I do it, but most of the time, if I got my laptop here like I do, I use the software, just take the eyedropper tool, and then I click on a white spot, and boom, I'm ready to go. The next thing I'll do is I will set the exposure. There's a couple different ways I do it. Before I even use the 18% gray card, I'll usually just go to the display and look to see if I'm overexposing anything with the blinky. So if I hit display like twice, I think, you go to a, histogram um, menu page with your image of the movie and you'll see if anything is blown out. Like if this side of my face is blown out, then I'll know to jog down the exposure a little bit. Then if I got I want time and I want to check the exposure even more, then I'll go ahead and use the 18 um, 18% gray card. The next thing I'll do is check the audio. Now I've got a setup right now where I'm injecting a 19 kilohertz tone into my left channel. And if you're interested on that video, I'll put a, um, a link right where my hand is that you can click on and go check that video out. And so I'm, what I'm looking to do is make sure that the audio is, is working properly. Okay, now there's some things that I never check. I set in the menu and I never have to check them again. I'll run through those now. The first one is automatic focus or AF mode. I select that to quick focus. The automatic focus AF during movie I enable that. The movie exposure, I set that to manual. And the grid display, I usually like to have it on grid one since I can you know, fool around with the rule of thirds. And the last thing that I never check is the highlight tone priority. I disable that. And the other thing that I never check usually is the auto lighting optimizer. I usually leave it on standard. If I need to fill in a little bit more light on a person's face, then I'll, I'll go with strong but I typically don't use the low or, or disabled uh, mode because it, it seems to work pretty well. So those are the things that I check and I hope that uh, helps you guys out. All right, talk to you later. Thanks, bye.